Hello, this is a orientation lesson for lesson one. As you can see, we're, I've given a option. So you can do option one. And I would carry it out like this, make it full screen, zoom in, goes over the three disciplines in the social sciences, anthropology, the study of people in history, psychology, the study of the mind, and sociology, the study of populations. Uh, a little bit of background. Basically, uh, social sciences were created after the Enlightenment, which is um, a time in history uh, in the 1700s where humans came to believe that it was possible to understand the world through reason and observation. <clears throat> there are laws of nature and they can be understood rather than um, you know, always being mysterious or due to like religious causes. Um, so they applied the scientific method to, un to populations, to people. So uh, I would love for you to watch this really cool video. You just have to click on it. That goes over the three disciplines. Then we have some definitions. And then you are going to generate a list of statements about yourself in the next uh, lesson activity. This is a really cool video called, Are You Typical? And you can kind of see how normal, abnormal your life is. You might be a little bit uh, surprised. These are the different realms of psychology, anthropology, and sociology, but all of them study human behavior. All of them. That is the common thread. Okay, so what are you going to do if you choose option A? You're going to complete this brainstorm. A list of things that describes you based on an anth through an anthropological lens, your history, your culture, your background, your goals, uh, from a psychological back, uh, lens, your thoughts, your feelings, beliefs, interests, hobbies, and from a sociological perspective, um, your family, your friends, your groups, your religion or non-religion, your education, and sports you play. So. This is getting you into the mindset of the three disciplines. The other option is to take a more traditional approach, read through each of these textbook chapters, and then go to the quiz, and then you can answer the questions. I'm going to make it look the same way it does for you and we can look at quiz one if you choose to do quiz one quiz one is similar to all the rest of the quizzes there are a bunch of them so it might be helpful to watch this so uh, warfare for territory is something humans share with other primates you just click true or false when you click it you'll notice that there's a check mark beside the number that you do and it's saved. So you can just exit and it will save everything. For these short answer uh, questions, if it says six points, that means you re need to do six, six uh, sentences or six facts. This one would be five facts. And then you submit quiz when you're finished. You have no time limit, so you can take as long as you need. Um, that's about that. Yeah, your quiz time will not be paused. Don't worry, you can just exit quiz. It's always saved. See, so if I go back, it says continue quiz. And see, lesson one is still counted as being completed. You can modify it anytime you want. Um, give you another tip here. Let's say if you are looking for, okay, uh, bipedal. What the heck is bipedal? I'm going to control uh, C. See, so control C. 
you can press these buttons or you can right click and press copy then I'm going to go into the reading I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to press control F and then control V I'll look for bipedal I don't see bipedal here let's just see if this so let's exit this and try reading 2 and control F So what I did is I pressed control F and then I typed in the keyword. Remember the keyword was bipedal from the quiz. And then look, I found it. So it will find, really find you each of the, the answers in a very quick and efficient way. So again, that's control F. <clears throat> it's this button, C, D, R, L, and then plus F. Okay, so control F. And you can press Control C or uh, sorry, Control V to paste, or you can right click. Actually, get yeah, there you go, and then paste. So you you pick the way that you'd like to do it. Control C is copy. Control V is paste. Hopefully, this is helpful to you as you work through the textbook readings and the quizzes. And if you have any questions, let me know. You can always reach me by clicking on, let's say, do, 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 down here. So if you ever see this, you can click on that, and I'll be on Teams, which looks like this. So I'm here right now. Uh, yeah. All right. Good luck and we'll chat soon.